My name is Chris Highlander and I'm from Sweden, 32 years old. I've made Chill Step for the past decade under the name of Killigru and Chrisu. When I try to explain Chill Step uh, for someone who might not have never heard about it, it's like classical music combined with dubstep. Intricate, complex, melodic arrangements like of music, but with but with like catchy drops, uh, got good bass, good drums, like uh, it has a little bit of everything. Uh, it can be super calm and beautiful, and it can, you can get like the opposite by the end of the song. And I love the contrast of that. I think the, the chorus, the drop, should go back to like this, like. We like more uh, synthy, chill steppy stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you go back to the the main melody in the drop, which I think will be really nice. Like usually, chill step is very melodic, but also very melancholic. So melancholic music is usually very emotional because it's like it's both happy and sad. So you get to experience so many range of emotions in just maybe one song. And I think chill step has always been like very connected to nature and like the universe. I think because I grew up in like rural Sweden, in like a small village, kind of far from any big towns. I grew up with like horses and lots of animals and like the huge forest just right outside. And back then there were no phones or really computers. So I was just out exploring a lot, walking the whole day, dreaming about what could be over the top of that silhouette of trees like far away. I would just walk there. And then, you know, eventually, like, I think that inspires me to make music that makes you feel like that a longing sense of wonder and exploration. Uh, and I think if I grew up in a big town, I don't think, I don't think I would have that in me. Like, I don't think so. This sudden dawning on our consciousness that life is not really a contest to make yes triumph over no, to make the positive triumph over the negative. What I like about Alan Watts is, is that he's like explore, exploring a lot of cultures and religion, and he's not very, like he doesn't really judge. He's like a free thinker, and I think that captures like the spirit of, actually like the whole Chill Step community. So he's like the perfect, almost like a, uh, almost like a father figure, almost, and uh, I personally listen a lot to his lectures about like Buddhism and a lot of it actually resonated with me because I'm not religious, re religious or anything, but I found a lot of like good common ground uh, in Buddhism and just listening to him exploring the re religion like many decades ago. But I think Chill Step, uh, it had its like glory, glory days, like probably 2013 to 2015 uh, but I mean it's still been doing well after that and I think it can definitely like keep going because people love to have chill step in the background when they work when they study so I think it will always have a place I will probably always as long as I live keep making some some type of chill step but I will probably always explore and combine genres because that's what I enjoy to do it has such a big impact for not being that recognized and I've always tried to like uh, fight for our genre because I feel like a lot of artists come and go and uh, the ones who really stick it through and like really show their passion for it I really admire that and that's what I want to do the best advice I can give to like uh, new musicians I feel like I'm still figuring this out even though it's been like 10 years of making music even more actually the best advice is to find your sound your n niche because you need to sound like yourself and not like, like a copy of someone else uh, but being inspired like i'm obviously inspired by people and i might borrow sounds but i think when you borrow a little bit here and there and you will have your own sound by doing that but i'm thankful also that i followed my heart like i did what i wanted to do and i followed my passion and that's what i want to inspire in others to follow your passion and don't do what people expect you to because like even parts of my own family did not like really want me to make music. 
but I knew I had to, like there were no choice, I had to make music for myself. <laughs> 